Well, it looks like there'll be one more video because this is a good example of past videos that I have talked about going by pressures and charging by pressures determined by ambient temperature where a mechanic, supposedly, uh, old school, will say you charge by pressures. So here's this Mercedes and it's cooling. Everything is working normal. Our low side is 46. Our high side is 167. But yet we're working normally. Everything is cool. Now let's come over to this Pathfinder. And I started these in the last video or two. So if you've just seen this video, you'll know the rest of the story. And we have this one operating over here. This one's operating. High side is 97, low side is 28. It's operating normally. But yet, yeah, what about that old school guy who uses the jerk off little cans when he's whacking around, filling up a system. He goes, oh, I wanna see that pressure and it'll tell me that it's full or it's not full. Well, here we got two vehicles, a Mercedes and a Pathfinder, a Toyota, both operating in the same shop, exact same conditions, but two completely different pressures, but yet they're both exact, uh, operating both perfectly, and there's nothing wrong with them. This is normal. There's no rule of thumb, there's no averages, there's no pressures, there's no temperatures you go by. You only completely recover, completely evacuate, and charge by weight only. Do not use pressures, temperature, or any other method to charge nowadays cars with variable compressors, and computers and sensors that are taking over to vary the pressures and temperatures to get a output that they're looking for. This is another example that I get to catch on video and put up. So anytime you have any technician who just puts on a set of gauges and he says, oh, pressures look good. It's good, it's full. Turn around, leave, never re enter to return to that shop and go find somebody else. You definitely have somebody who needs much more education going on there and if it's somebody who's old school and he's been in the business 20 or 30 years and he says that kind of stuff basically you got that one dog who can't be taught because they can't apparently in 20 or 30 years he hasn't learned this and he's still burning up compressors you need to go somewhere else that's all catch you guys later